What's going on, you guys? It's Ricarda with the NAFM back with another video. I know it has been a long time coming, but we've been super busy over the last few months, which is why we haven't posted any videos to our channel. But I think at this point, we're settled enough to finally get back to the fun part, which is making videos. And in the meantime, I received a lot of requests on a house tour. So I decided to come with that video today and we're finally going to do the house tour. We're gonna go ahead and start in the front. I'm gonna keep this video very simple, but thorough. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so here we are in the front of the home. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath duplex on Fogelway housing base. We got Fogelway Elementary School and Kaiserslautern Middle School here. Let's go ahead and check out the trash bins next. Black is for your everyday messy trash. Blue is for paper and cartons. And brown is for grass, sticks, and kitchen scraps. So let's go ahead and check out the inside. All right, so here we are on the inside of the home. This is the entryway area slash mudroom. There's tile flooring through the entire house. This door leads to the garage and that door to the hallway and the rest of the home, but we're going to check out the garage next. I believe this is a one car garage, but maybe depending on the size of your vehicle, you might be able to fit two vehicles in here since it's fairly long. And we're checking out the next room. This is also a storage area, as you can see. You can fit a lot of things in here. And that room right there is the maintenance room, which should always be accessible to the maintenance guys. This is what that looks like. And that door right there leads directly to the backyard, which we will check out at the end of the video. Right, so back into the home we go through one door in and out the other this is the hallway as soon as you come in from the entryway area we got a powder room right here hallway with a lot of closet storage as well as under the stair storage but we're going to check out the powder room next this is what that looks like And then we have the under the stair storage right here. It also goes around the corner just a little bit where you can store many things. From this hallway, you can enter the breakfast area, dining room, whatever you might like to put into this area. And this way leads to the living room. We're checking out this area first. Of course, it always depends what you're making out of your home, but this is our breakfast slash work area, coffee bar, lots of storage space, dishwasher. One thing to keep in mind, this kitchen does not come with a microwave, so that's something to purchase. And the refrigerator. And off of the kitchen is the living room and our formal dining area. Again, of course, this depends on how you set up your own home. And we got the backyard right there, which we will check out in just a little bit. But this is what it looks like from here. Again, the kitchen, the hallway where we came from, and living room. So back into the hallway we go. We're getting ready to make our way up the stairs. And by the way, in case any of you are wondering, these stair covers did not come with the home. I purchased them myself so that it wouldn't be too slippery and a little bit safer. Up we go. We got this huge window right here. And I purchased these privacy stickers for the windows myself. I need a little bit more, that's why I got those blinds rolled down, but that way I just feel more private and more light comes up there into the loft. So up we go, 
I purposely left all the doors open, that way it's easier to see. All right, so on top of the stairs, I got all the doors open. We got two bedrooms to our left, the laundry room right across from us, the master in that corner, hallway bathroom, another bedroom, and some hallway storage. We're gonna go ahead and start with bedroom number one. This is what it looks like. All the rooms are pretty good size. We've got a built-in closet right there in that corner. All right, now we're getting ready to check out bedroom number three. Teenagers like to keep their rooms pretty dark. As I mentioned, all the rooms are pretty good size. Also big windows in this one and the built-in closet is in the middle of that wall. Leaving bedroom number two, we're going to check out the next area, which is the laundry room right here. The washer and dryer came with this unit, of course. Nothing too special. And then we're making our way into the master bedroom. That's what it looks like. Also pretty big windows. And here we have a fairly large built-in closet. <laughs> And right off of the master, we have the master bathroom. Here I am. Got the shower in here, no bathtub in this one. You got a window in this bathroom, which is good. With privacy glass. And back into the upstairs hallway or loft, we have the hallway bathroom right here. This one has a bathtub as well as the shower up there. All bathrooms have a towel warmer. And now we're going to take a look at the last bedroom. This one also has a pretty big built-in closet with it. All right, so we're almost done with the house tour. I still want to show you guys the backyard, but before I head down there, I wanted to point out a few important things that I haven't mentioned in the video yet, which is there is no AC, but you do have fans in every single bedroom, the living room, and the dining areas as well. And then again, you have tile flooring through the entire house, which of course helps keep cool as well. I do believe some people use portable AC units. I'm not sure, but I also wanted to show you the blinds. All right, so I'm going to use the master bedroom window as an example. You have outdoor blinds with all of the windows or backyard doors. You can simply roll them down. You can keep it as light or as dark in your room as you would like. This also helps during summer. You can roll them down. You don't need blackout curtains because you can just completely black out your room. And as you can see, it's completely dark in here. So you're able to get some good sleep. And now for the people that are wondering about curtains, I believe if you want floor length curtains here, it has to be at least two meters, if not 220 or 230. I kept my curtains from the States. I didn't feel like purchasing all new curtains for this home, temporary home. But this is how you can get your curtains up. You can buy gliders or little hooks. I purchased the hooks and just hung up my curtains without stabbing holes into any of them, just so I'm able to keep my stateside curtains. And I did that with all of the rooms. Just wanted to show you the curtains in the living room again. These were about floor length in the States because I had curtain rods over the window. So they're a lot shorter here, but it doesn't bother me. 
All right, and now last but not least, the backyard, probably my most favorite part of the entire home. Just wanted to show you this again really quick. You have lines everywhere on every window and every door that you can fully close and black out your entire house if you like. Same on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and go out. You do have a screen door. We're lucky that for the backyard, the sun is out, makes it look even nicer. We're lucky that we have this forest behind us, very private. I'm walking all the way to this side so I can show you the back of the home. Nice patio area. It's a pretty nice sized backyard if you ask me. All right, so that was it with the house tour. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you leave me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications so you won't miss any new videos. I am thinking about doing a tour of this side of the base. I have to put some thought into it, but that should be one of the next videos coming up. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure that you also hit that bell for post notifications so you won't miss our new video. With that being said, I'll see you guys then. Thank you.